Hey Cloud Gamers, today we are looking at maximum settings versus Shadow PC, both on the 1080 middle tier rigs, starting with the startup from Cold Start, so starting the application, starting the machine, and launching into the game. As you can see, with maximum settings, we have to launch the website, and then we can use one of the launchers like Moonlight to access the server. With Shadow, it's a bit simpler, and I can just launch their inbuilt launcher and just wait for the machine to start. And we can see around the 40 second mark that the shadow machine has started up. And we're still waiting for the connection on Moonlight for maximum settings. And there we go, maximum settings has got a connection and Shadow is connecting to its VM as well. So Shadow to the desktop there at 57 seconds. Uh, maximum settings is not far behind at 1 minute 4. So only 7 seconds in it overall. So getting into your virtual machine in just over a minute is not bad. But getting under a minute is slightly better. Moving over to the load speed test then. Both launching Shadow of the Tomb Raider from the desktop. We got this pop up. So it took 10 seconds for the launcher on maximum settings and 15 seconds on Shadow PC. Again, a not a lot in it. Technically, the maximum settings should have a better processor with the Ryzen processor versus the Xeon. And we're to the title screen then at 47 seconds on maximum settings. Shadow PC still loading. And finally to the title screen there in 1 minute 3. Can it pull it back on the actual level load? Jonah, and there we go, playable it. in 1 minute 11 on maximum temple. settings. Good. Oh, that's not good. Laura, Trinity's blasting their way in. And Shadow PC oh, finally in then at 127. There's a pyramid. I'm gonna get so to a little top. bit longer to get into on Shadow PC. But still not a lot in it when we're yeah, less than a minute and a half. So over to the benchmark test so we can have a look at the graphics and the actual raw power of these machines. Looking at the settings here you can see that they are matched on the Ultra with motion blur off. And as we start the test here, something that comes kind of quite apparent to me straight away is that the colours on Shadow do seem to be a little bit more vibrant with a bit more depth. But overall it's very similar. In these early steps it's very difficult to tell them apart. But it does seem like the contrast is better on Shadow PC for some reason. It's frames per second hopping around quite a lot on both of them and dipping into the 50s there. But fairly constant on Shadow PC. Whereas maximum settings is kind of bouncing high and low. Going into the forest scene then, again we see those frames per second really bouncing around on maximum settings and actually quite a lot lower here. For some reason maximum settings looks a little bit washed out here, I'm not sure why. Also with that slightly better processor it should be smoother. But both looking about the same here, especially as we come over the tree. Very tight indeed. Coming to the kind of temple scenes then. Huge graphics pop there from the maximum settings, much more than was visible on Shadow PC for some reason. And again, those frames per second actually dipping quite a lot on maximum settings. And it's looking a little bit jagged, it's kind of a bit jerky on maximum settings, I'm not sure why. Wondering if it's because that KVM processor is recognised rather than the actual Ryzen. 
But looking here, it does look a lot smoother on Shadow PC through that pan. As we come down into the market, we can see a little bit of stuttering on both. That stuttering is definitely more present on the maximum setting side. Which is a shame, because as I said on paper, it is supposed to have that slightly better CPU. But maybe the custom hardware of Shadow PC pays off here. All in all, both looking very good. And in those slower scenes, it does look very clear on both. So it will be down to the scores at the end here. So looking at the final benchmarks, there's only 3 frames per second in it with maximum settings having that slightly lower amount with also a lower amount of frames rendered. Same game version and Windows builds, it's just that CPU that's making the difference here I think. And as I said, for some reason maximum settings is only recognised as a common KVM processor when they state that it's a Ryzen. And looking at the figures down the bottom here, the frames per second, you can see that the minimum does go quite low on maximum settings versus Shadow PC. All in all very close, and if you can't wait for a Shadow PC, then maximum settings is a great budget option, as long as you've got a decent ping to the Canadian data centre. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cloud Gaming Extreme for all of the latest across all cloud gaming platforms, and I will see you next time.